My name is Chris Frost and uh, I'm with Fujitsu. I'm a principal enterprise architect, uh, but I'm also the co-chair in the open group of the Digital Practitioners Working Group. So if you go to the open group website today, you'll see all the standards there. TOGAF, IT for IT, Open Fair Cybersecurity, and so on and so on. But when you look at that set of standards, it's not immediately obvious uh, how those relate to one another and what the connections are between them. It's as a result of that that we've started this work that we're calling the, the digital portfolio. And what we have in mind is that instead of just uh, that list of standards, you'll be able to see something on the website, some sort of uh, picture or map or something like that, that shows how these things relate together. So for example, if you imagine two of the standards of the open group, um, IT for IT and TOGAF, uh, you've got IT for IT, which is a really great description of an overall digital business model. Uh, and you've got TOGAF, which is world's leading enterprise architecture framework. Now, if you look into IT for IT, you'll see a thing called the strategy function. And within that, it calls for enterprise architecture because you need that enterprise architecture to be able to develop that strategy into a set of digital business offerings that the company will sell to its customers. If you're using IT for IT and you're looking at that enterprise architecture requirement, you've got TOGAF straight away there, another standard of the open group, perfect fit, does the job brilliantly. If you're looking at it the other way around, if you're looking at TOGAF because you're interested in enterprise architecture, then of course what IT for IT shows you is where that fits within the overall digital business. So those two uh, standards are really strongly connected and, and support each other. And if we have this portfolio, it'll show those connections really strongly. And there'll be a much more powerful proposition having that related set of standards rather than just simply some sort of list on the website that shows you what all those different parts are. And I think that'll bring lots of different benefits to anybody using those standards, just simply being able to see those, those connections, those touch points, help them understand the purpose and how these things relate together. It'll help you understand which of the standards you need to use in various circumstances. And if you imagine that perhaps you're uh, working with the open group in one of the, the forums, one of, uh, one of the working groups, uh, developing new standards, uh, knowing what's there and how they relate and the different areas that they cover, will help you um, understand the piece of work that you're involved in and, and will also help you avoid duplication. I speak from some experience, one of the challenges you sometimes have, not overlapping, not duplicating something that's already in one of the other standards. So again, seeing those connections, seeing how these things relate together will, will really help out. Um, and to uh, the Open Group as an organization, what it'll mean is that it'll really uh, show the open group as, a, as the leading provider of digital business standards because that overall portfolio will show the value of how all these things work together. So you can imagine that if we have this digital portfolio, uh, it'll really strengthen the position of the open group as a, as a provider of digital business standards, having that set of things and just seeing all the relationships on some sort of map or picture on the website. And finally, I'd say if that's something that enthuses you and you think you could uh, help and contribute towards developing that, then any member of the open group can get involved in this work. We're, we're open to new members um, in, the, uh, in the digital practitioners working group. So if you can, you're enthusiastic about it, then please get in touch and get involved and help us develop this. Thank you.